Hey guys, so I'm mowing my lawn and I hit a rock and now the lawnmower has this crazy vibration when it runs. But I mean, the blade looks fine. It's just the whole lawnmower is like shaking like crazy like this where my hands get numb. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that 100%. Let's get started right away. Okay, I'm going to flip it over on its side. There we go. So obviously be careful. Gasoline might come out in our case. The gas tank's on this side. Um, so now when I kind of spin this, see, I mean, everything seems fine. Nothing really seems wrong here. Well, what ended up happening is this happens. This is super common. This here, this is what bent, like what this blade is attached to. This is part of the motor. So I'm going to show you how to fix that when one of these is bent. So the first thing we got to do guys is we got to take this blade off and also we need to pull the spark plug out. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, let's get the blade off first. Okay, so what I like to do is I put a toolbox in here, see? So now when I'm loosening this, the blade's not gonna spin because the toolbox is gonna stop it. So I'm gonna loosen this, we gotta pull the blade right off. Okay, now that we got this nice and clean, uh, we're gonna pull the spark plug out and pull the cord. I'll show you that it's bent. Okay guys, spark plug is out. It's gonna be hard to see on camera, but check it out. Ready? Well, it's definitely warped, like a lot. Like I can see it here. Let me try to show you guys. See? Okay, I, I know it's hard to see on camera, but it's wobbling like this. That's what's causing the vibration. I can totally see it like off camera. Um, so I'll show you what you gotta do now. You're gonna need maybe a two by four and a permanent marker. You really should have another person for this, but I don't. Okay, I'll show you how to do this next. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the two by four on here like this, right? And I'm gonna hold this marker just away from that just just so it's not touching it see what i mean just like that there's just a tiny little bit of space um well that's too much space a little bit less or more space i mean okay now i'm gonna spin it as i'm holding all this and it's gonna mark the wobble right you get what i'm saying okay let's do it Oh wow. Okay guys, that totally worked. I'm just getting a better camera angle of that. So watch, watch when I pull it. Look how warped it is. Ready? See? So anyways, I put the marker close, close enough, right? Okay, ready? See, and it's drawing a line. Now it's not drawing a line. Now it's drawing a line, and now it's not. Okay, so you've seen that, see? So there's the line. So now I know exactly where to hit it. It's basically the way I got it set up now. I got to hit it right here, down. You get what I'm saying? And trust me, if you hit it really hard, it will just bounce right back. Metal's funny that way. It will go back exactly to where it was supposed to be. See, so this is like a carpenter's hammer. This one's a tad smaller. This one would be tough because it's lighter. This one would be okay. And then I have this like automotive hammer. I'm going to use this. It's not crazy huge, but it's got some weight to it. Okay, let's do this. All right, here it goes. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so as you've seen, I hit it three times as hard as I could. Let's see if that bent it back. 
Look at that, guys. She's perfectly straight. If I had another person, this would be a lot easier, but I don't. Okay, ready? See, look at that. I go really, really close with the marker. And that is that, guys. I just tried it out. She works perfect. Um, check your oil level after you tip it over, obviously. I uh, might smoke for a little bit because there's oil in the cylinder. If you want to know how to sharpen your blades, guys, hit this video up here and throw me a subscription and a like, guys. Till next time, everybody. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage.